My name is LaRonda Sparks. Um, I have triplets. I first learned about sickle cell disease when I was really young. Um, my aunt and uncle have sickle cell disease. I watched how it can affect a person's life, their body. Um, so I didn't want my children to be affected by it, if I could avoid it. With the triplets, we found out when I was four months along that my husband also carried the type S trait, um, which is the type that I carry as well. So there was a 25% chance each one of the babies could possibly um, have the disease and a 50% chance each one could have the trait. Anaya was diagnosed at two weeks old. Her first hospitalization actually was just a fever. She was fighting a regular illness and for kids with sickle cell, a regular illness isn't just a regular illness. I keep a bag packed for me and her in the car because you just never know when you're gonna have to go to the hospital. I definitely believe that at times, black people are treated differently um, when they go to the emergency room um, for sickle cell crises because it's usually a pain crisis that is leading them there. You can't really see the pain, but it's there. It, it definitely exists. Emergency room doctors, I've found in my own personal experience, aren't so open to hearing what you have to say. Um, but those that really want to know, they're there to listen and they're there to understand. Anaya's uh, hematologist, she actually has sickle cell disease. And so it, it felt good to know that, hey, when, when Anaya tells her what's wrong, she understands from a, a true level of understanding. I've always wanted to be some type of doctor and then when I got older, I said I wanted to be a hematologist. My recent hematologist, her, she has the same birthday as me. She also has sickle cell, and she inspired me, so I knew that's what I wanted to be. Sometimes I wish people knew that it wasn't just a disease where you can just easily treat it, like take your medicine, drink some water, you'll be fine. It's not really like that all the time. My whole family is my support group. Um, the last time she had a crisis, we were in third grade, and we had just got back from the airport. And she missed school, and like a lot of people were worried about her, but especially us. I always wonder what it feels like, because she's always crying and telling us that it really hurts, and we don't know how it feels, so sometimes we don't really know what to do. It is a lifelong disease, and so you have to be able to afford the care. Hospital stays, some kids need blood transfusions, all of this stuff that is really expensive. So it's a scary thing to try to navigate, knowing your child will forever need those medications and forever possibly have to go to the hospital. But if Anaya was cured, um, life would be better in the sense that the anxiety, um, the pressure to ensure that she's covered from a health insurance perspective, those things that really eat away at a parent would completely dissipate. Anaya is a champ. Like, <laughs> I cannot imagine going through the things that she's gone through in her short 12 years so far and the way that she handles them. She is strong. You see it in the stuff that she goes through and it, it's okay. You know, this is me. This is who I am and I'm not gonna apologize for who I am and how I am.